Hello Tesla nuts. Uh, today I got a software update um, and it just updates a single feature <clears throat> uh, that has to do with activating summon using the parking stick or stock I guess it's called and uh, I'll show that to you here if I can focus on it. There we go. So uh, this is the parking stock um, and this button here is the one in question, so let me put the car in drive. Um, I'm not going to go anywhere because I'm in my garage, but... Uh, so when you're in drive and you're parking, to put the car in park, you press it once, and then you can see uh, now it's in park. Whereas, let me leave that zoomed in a little bit. Um, I'll go back to uh, drive. If I want to have it auto park, then I would double click this and then you can see um, auto park is enabled, the hazards are flashing, and then it comes up with, uh, okay, there's this dialogue that comes up. And um, this is what the update has to do with. There are two arrows uh, indicating what direction you want the car to park itself. Previously, uh, one of these would be selected by default. Whichever direction you went before was selected. You didn't have to do anything. All you did uh, was uh, double hit the button and then get out of your car and your car would park. So that was a little bit sketchy because, you know, one click is just park and two click is, you know, telling the car to move when you get out of the car. So, you know, if you're, if you're moving, oops, sorry. Um, if you're like in a hurry and distracted or whatever, I mean, you can accidentally hit this button twice and, um, and you might say, okay, well, but the hazards go up and, you know, there's flashing lights and you can hear the blinker sound, but yeah, those, I mean, those are precautions that are there, but if you're really distracted and you're out when it, somewhere where it's really noisy and it's really bright outside, you're not going to see the lights. So anyway, there was the potential that you could not realize that you had acted, you had activated summon when you thought you had actually parked your car. Um, and uh, but now Tesla requires you to uh, select a direction. Oops. Um, after you hit the button, so I'll hit it there, and now it won't actually move until I say, "Okay, go forward." Oh, okay, go backwards. And then once I do that. Um, I'm going to leave it at forward actually. Once I do that, okay, now when I get out of my car and close the door, it will go. So this comes uh, shortly after a story uh, which you may have, I'm going to get rid of this, which you may have read about where this uh, Model S owner in Utah, um, he had parked his car and then at some mall or something like that and came back and his Model S had pulled forward focus. His Model S had pulled forward into a flatbed truck uh, in front of him, which unfortunately, uh, because the sensors can't detect, um, you know, really thin, flat objects, uh, the Model S pulled forward um, and the, the bed of the truck was windshield level. And so the, the bed, um, the Model S sort of pulled under it and then it, the bed hit the window. So he thought summon activated by itself and Tesla says, well, no, it was actually activated according to the logs, blah, blah, blah. So that story, I, I think it came out sometime last week. And uh, so now we have this update where there's an additional step that you have to do to tell your car, uh, okay, move yourself after I get out of the car. So related, probably. Tesla's not exactly saying that it's a direct result of that incident. But anyway, it's probably a good idea. Um, again, because having the same button operate park and go forward or go backwards, you know, could be a little sketchy. So that's it. And um, for those of you who are keeping track, I believe this is version, it's still 7.1, but it's version 2.18.77, I believe. So anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.